Shih Tzu dogs get a bad rap when it comes to potty training. In house training several dog breeds throughout my lifetime. Shih Tzu isn't as hard as you may think. Potty training a Shih Tzu is no more and no less challenging than it is to train any other dog. With consistency, positive reinforcement, and treat motivation, potty training your Shih Tzu is easy to accomplish. Training is simply a matter of establishing good habits in your dog. Before I move on with the video, do you want to train your dog for any basic commands like sit and stay? Do you want to stop any of the behavioral problems of your dog like pooping inside the house, biting, jumping, or barking? If your answer is yes, please grab the free dog training secrets guide in which I have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that would help you have a well-behaved, smart and obedient dog without spending hours in training him or her. The secret training technique cheat sheet is available for free only for a limited time from the link in the description box below. Teaching them good habits from the very beginning saves you a lot of frustration and having to teach them to unlearn any bad habits later on down the road. However, there are also certain things you can do to make potty training much more effective. 6 Tips on How to Potty Train a Shizu 1. Pick a spot. Determine exactly where your pup is to eliminate. Perhaps an area in your yard, the roadside, or even potty pads in the laundry room. Wherever it is you want him to do his business, will need to be established from the very beginning. 2. Stick to a schedule. Make a schedule and stick to it. One of the most effective potty training tips you can use is a schedule. Scheduling makes the training so much easier. If your puppy is less than 12 weeks old, they haven't yet learned to hold their bladder, so plan on taking him out every 1-2 to two hours for the first couple weeks. An older puppy may be every 3-4 to four hours. If you have an adult or senior dog, he has likely learned to hold his bladder for a longer time. But since he's new to your home, you'll still have to figure out how often he needs to go. You may find that you'll need to tweak your schedule a time or two to find what works best for you in the beginning. 3. Take him out when he first gets up. When training your dog, it's very important that you take them directly to their designated area shortly after they wake. Your dog may have been holding it for several hours at this point and may not be able to hold it once his body wakes up. After this first morning break, continue to follow your schedule as much as possible. Be sure to take him out no more than 30 minutes after he eats, and just before bedtime. As your dog becomes more familiar with his schedule you can begin gradually increasing the amount of time between his next potty break. So instead of every two hours, you can try increasing his next break by a half hour and then an hour, and so on. 4. Give it a name. Whatever you choose to call the activity of elimination, you want your dog to know what it is you want her to do. The moment she squats, give it a name by saying something like go pee, potty, wee wee, or whatever name works best for you. Remember to give praise when she's done. Whatever you choose to call it, make sure to say it clearly. Then say that word every time you bring her to her spot. 5. Remember to give praise. Who doesn't like to be giving a bit of praise when we do something good? Well, a dog likes it too. A good boy or good girl with a quick rub behind the ears will help your dog associate what it is that made you happy and got them a reward. The tone of your voice is just as important when training a dog. When giving praise, let your voice have a little bit of excitement in it. 6. Use a crate. Let's face it, we can't watch our dogs every minute of the day. So it's inevitable that your dog will likely relieve themselves when you aren't looking. For this reason, many professional trainers recommend crate training to help get through the first few months. Whether you intend on using a crate or not is up to you. But keep in mind, dogs don't usually mess where they lay, so using a crate does have its advantages. During those first couple weeks, your puppy is learning where he is expected to relieve himself. He is also training his bladder to hold it in longer as you are gradually increasing the time between potty breaks. After the initial two weeks, you'll notice that he can go for several hours without an accident. But, it is very unlikely that you can be confident that your dog will not mess your carpet with only a few weeks of training. Continuous training is needed for several months in order for your Shizu to fully understand this concept. And even then, there still may be the occasional accident due to circumstances beyond their control. Do you want to have a well-behaved, obedient and calm pet dog without spending hours in training him? Check out the first link in the description and download the secret training technique guide absolutely free. 
It is available for free only for a limited period of time. Thanks for watching the video. Comment below if you like the video. Please subscribe to the channel Little Paws Training if you are serious about training and grooming your dog. Also, join our Facebook group where you get all the solutions to your daily doggy problems.